Hi Cancer and welcome to your tarot video scope for December 2016 by Ama. It is the holiday season. Happy holidays to you. If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This will be a general reading. If you are interested to hear a continuation of this video, if you like to know more, please do click in the link down here below. That's going to take you to the Vmail videos for download and purchase for those of you who are interested to hear a continuation of this tarot video scope, if you want to find out more. If you like to schedule a private consultation, please email me at amaletworker at gmail.com. You may also contact me through my website, amaletworker.com. This reading will be for Cancer Sun, uh, Rising Sun, Sign, and Moon. Please make sure that you listen for your sun sign, for your rising sign, and for your moon sign, because sometimes uh, some of your messages could come in through the rising sign or even through the moon sign. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. By subscribing, you would allow me to take messages that could be important to you as well. And with that being said, let's move on with your uh, reading. The general feelings that I am picking up, they have a lot to do with people entering your life kind of to change things in a different direction, a sudden breakthrough, more that has to do with your finances, relationships, and having to make important decisions or even um, important dealings and negotiations maybe around a contract of some sort. Now, allow me to focus so we can uh, read the cards one by one. In the position representing you, you have the King of Wands. This is the card. So, if it represents a person, usually it represents an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. The meaning of that is it represents a noble figure, someone that you look up to. It also represents future events idea of a trip, idea of a new career, demands, commands, a teacher. It does represent someone who's got a lot of charisma. Maybe they don't talk a lot, but when they do talk, they are able to captivate uh, an audience. So people do follow him or her. It is a general reading. And if that doesn't make sense to you, the other meaning of the card uh, is focus on your goal. Allow me now to uh, kind of tune in and figure out what does this mean for you in this reading. I keep getting that for some of you, you could be just uh, tired or exhausted. For some of you, you could be physically tired, just running around, doing chores, helping people, picking up stuff, dropping off uh, people. I get a lot of driving, a lot of driving uh, for some of you. For other people, it could be that mentally you could be tired. And I do feel that, that a lot of you have uh, new ideas new inspirations, new passions. Some of you feel like at some level something's got to change. Even maybe in a mental level something's got to change. Many of you have many plans in your mind. And for some of you I feel like you are questioning when is the right time for you to take this sudden turn. You could be thinking of a sudden turn uh, when is the right time for you to take like a sudden turn in your love relationship or to make some important decisions in relation to your work, maybe quit a job and start a new one, or even either collaborating with someone on a project or partnering up with someone in a business sense or maybe in your space of work you could be teaming up with new people here to collaborate on important projects. 
I feel that for many of you, you will hear or you may be reading or hearing about it on internet about a new philosophy, a new way of being, a new way of feeling. Uh, you're going to hear about new things that people are very excited about. Maybe someone around you could tell you about some sort of a brilliant experience uh, that they had with someone and they may and you could be drawn to uh, be in touch with this person, call them to set up an, uh, an, uh, um, to schedule a meeting or an appointment, buy that book if they're talking about uh, a, a book. Maybe they're talking about a new social uh, group or maybe they joined a new uh, religious group or a church and I do feel like whatever this is you are just going to be part of this vibration when you want to find out more about what this other person is talking about or whatever this book or this philosophy is about and I feel that for some of you you could be attending an event of importance with someone that people respect him a lot. He has a great deal of influence uh, among people. You could be attending uh, maybe a party or after party, maybe with um, a priest, a preacher, um, someone who maybe they are well known like a master level in in doing yoga or meditation they could be someone who are very good in teaching people about finances i also keep getting someone who's a great public speaker maybe they talk about astrology or they talk about Akashic Records or Karma or how to release emotions. Maybe this could also be some kind of a new perspective maybe related to psychology. They could be also presenting with new ways of doing uh, your work, your uh, profession. There, maybe they are introducing or um, um, presenting something about some new developments that has to do with your work, technology, or even uh, your profession. I also keep getting images of some of you getting like an autographed book or an autographed CD uh, from someone uh, that you li like very much. So you could be going into maybe in some sort of a book signing events for some of you. And if this doesn't make sense to you for the purpose of this general reading, I am simply going to say that a lot of you will be a little bit more focused into thinking about the future and to setting up your goals about your love life, your relationship, uh, family, business. After all, we are on the verge of uh, the new uh, year. So some of you could be focusing and revising these uh, new goals that you have for uh, next year. The next card that showed up for you, it does fall in the position of what could be crossing you and it is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands to me represents a sudden breakthrough, success, victory. It could also be a new beginning, a new passion in life, a new hobby, something to look forward uh, to. For other people, it could also be a new love or simply a new direction, a new path, a new journey in uh, life. I feel that a lot of you, you may be going through some ups and downs, maybe mentally or emotionally, but I also keep getting that you will arrive to that conclusion that whatever you went through, it was worth it because you have learned important lessons in life. A lot of you will feel a lot more accomplished. I feel that 
there's going to be a lot more challenges ahead of uh, you. Some of you are really uh, preparing to make some sort of important change or an important uh, transition, even ending things of some sort. So this ending of things could be different. It could mean different things to different people. But some of you are preparing for that, and. Even though for some of you, some things could be coming to a stop, to a completion, or to an end, I still feel that you are going to take a great sense of uh, feeling uh, proud. For some of you, I feel like a deal or an opportunity may be showing up for you out of uh, nowhere. I also keep hearing like something may, uh, uh, some, some sort of a cancellation it must be something of importance because I do see you taking the place or the spot of this person who, or, or of this cancellation. So there must be something of an importance. Either some appointment gets uh, cancelled and you take that uh, spot, whatever that means uh, for you. A lot of you are getting ready to launch new things. You could be starting to do workshops, you could be preparing to launch maybe a new book or something in uh, the media. Some of you may be preparing to get maybe for a job interview or even to start a new uh, job. I feel that for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, this month of December is going to signify the beginning, the change in your relationship. I mean that by that, that for some of you now, you may feel like now you are ready to put yourself out there to go on dates. I feel like something here is shifting a lot of energies behind the scenes that maybe you may not even feel them uh, right at the beginning of December. So energies behind the scenes, it feels like they are working on your behalf to improve love and relationships. For some of you, you could be meeting someone uh, in a party. Um, you could be deciding to schedule to set a date with someone with whom you maybe you met them online or you are communicating with them online or talking on the phone and now some of you may be setting up uh, that date to see this person uh, to see and to meet uh, in person for others i feel that it's like the universe is giving you some sort of a second chance to go over your love affairs, to examine your current relationship. You may be in a marriage, you may be in a steady marriage, you may be uh, in a marriage that maybe it hasn't been so easy uh, recently. Whatever the case is for different cancerians out there, I still feel that your relationships and love affairs are pretty much going to affect this month of uh, December. So for some of you, the breakthrough could really be a new love in your life. And for some of you, I don't know how uh, this is going to affect everybody, but for some of you, not for all of you, you could truly benefit by this energy um, by getting closer together with each other, kind of trying to heal uh, the relationship. The next card that we have is the Queen of Pentacles. It does fall in the position of what is the root cause of this. It does denote a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This could be the Sun sign, the Rising sign, or the Moon sign. To me personally, this Queen of Pentacles, it means that maybe you don't live a lavish lifestyle, but you are definitely content with your life. You are content with your wealth and your material possessions. You did find some uh, peace. You did find some success in life. Um, 
This queen of pentacles may tend to be a perfectionist, a hard worker, values tradition, and community. So again, because this is a general reading, this queen of pentacles may also uh, be a man or a male uh, in your life, may not necessarily show up as a female. For some of you, I keep getting that this could be a mother figure or a father figure. It could be a boss or a teacher or a mentor. And I do feel like there's going to be a lot of mending of broken hearts, mending of issues about how you feel in relation to them, issues involving uh, them. I think that for some of you, some money could show up out of nowhere. For some of you, you may be receiving a lot of gifts of cash uh, this uh, year. Even if you don't celebrate uh, Christmas or New Year's or the holiday uh, season, I still feel like some money could show up for you in very unexpected uh, ways. I feel that for some of you, you could be receiving the news of someone being a mother or a father. You may be receiving the news of a pregnancy or a child being born. I also feel that for many of you Cancerians, you will have to have a very deep and important conversation with one of your children. You may be having a very deep conversation about your child or children as well. And I do feel that for some of you, this may help you to shed a light maybe into a health condition that they have, maybe into a learning uh, disability, how to uh, be more helpful uh, to them, how to help them in many different ways. Uh, ways. For other Cancerians, it does feel to me like this Queen of Pentacles, um, the reason that this card showed up, I feel like they're talking about uh, fundings of some sort, crowd fundings, um, finding new ways to finance or to refinance. This could be maybe in your work, you need to have uh, some sort of founding or crown founding someone to sponsor or to found uh, to, uh, um, a project that maybe is near and dear uh, to your uh, heart. Some of you could be having, other cancerians could be having some sort of important analysis, going over some finances, material uh, possessions. Some of you could be preparing ahead for the tax uh, season. You could be preparing to present to a lawyer or to a judge some sort of an important uh, financial documents, financial transactions the revenue of something or uh, like a yearly uh, outcome and I also feel that for some of you there's going to be some sort of a trade maybe there is something that you need to take back to uh, the store and uh, get another item uh, for it some of you may have a little bit of a hard time if you have second thoughts, second feelings about something that maybe it was given to you or that you purchased. You may have some problems here into returning that and getting your money back. So uh, maybe they're going to ask you to trade it in uh, instead. So please be careful around that. Please think twice before you decide to purchase something major, something big, or something of importance, or even luxury uh, items, because some of you may be having like changing your mind or having some second thoughts uh, after uh, that. I feel that for some of you, if you have a business already or if you are self-employed, I do feel like 
uh, you're going to get in touch with the right clientele, with the right people. And I do feel that if 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 this during this month of um, December, maybe you don't see a great in influx of money coming in for you. I feel that this influx of money uh, could be maybe coming in in January, February, or March. But some of you will feel that change in uh, money coming in and money coming out right now in this month of December. And for some of you, you may get uh, or experience an increase in your finances in the next months uh, to come. I also keep getting a feeling that for some of you, a love partner may be feeling like whining you and dining you and spending uh, money uh, on you, uh, trying even uh, giving you uh, cash, like feeling very, very giving and generous toward uh, you. The next card that showed up, it is the High Priestess. It does fall in the position of what is the root cause of this. The High Priestess, to me, it represents higher learning, higher education, negotiations, trade, uh, teaching, learning. Uh, it also represents, sometimes it also represents uh, finances and also waiting. It also means being able to see the evil and the good and being able to make a decision without the right decision, without being influenced, without being biased. People do listen to this high priestess and they all come to her for uh, her advice because they do value her judgments. It does feel to me that for some of you, you may be dealing with a judge, you may be dealing maybe someone in your company needs to make an important decision in relation to something that's going on. Maybe you ask for a raise or maybe you ask for something else. Maybe you have a case going on with someone uh, in, within uh, the company. Or maybe some time ago, maybe you placed a complaint or a former complaint about someone or uh, something. And now for some of you, this could be someone representing the company addressing that issue or even making a decision and letting you know uh, about uh, that. For other cancerians, as I, as, as I said, this could be waiting to hear. Uh, for an important uh, decision here from a judge. So don't be thrown off because in the card the high priestess here is a female. The judge could be a female or could be uh, a male. This is a general reading and may not be uh, that uh, important whether the judge is a male or a female. I also keep hearing that for some of you, you could be either buying some sort of a programs, courses, paying uh, some sort of bills in relation to school or classes or education. As I also feel that for some of you, you may, I feel like some of you may be needing to get more certifications or diplomas or degrees in order for you to either have a career change or to get to the next level of your uh, career. Some of you, I feel that for some reason you may be feeling at uh, cross paths. So I already spoke about, uh, even through other cards, about some people examining their relationship. Now I feel like some of you could be uh, re-examining and going over making decisions of importance in relation to your school, education if you are still going uh, to school, or even whether to leave or to take a job uh, offer. And I also feel that <clears throat> this high priestess showed up for some of you, excuse me for a moment, showed up for some of you because it's like karma is sending her to you. There's going to be some karmic events happening to a lot of uh, you. <clears throat> so I feel that like 
<clears throat> whatever you did in the past, now karma <coughs> is going to repay you uh, for uh, that. Because I also keep hearing to each one, each uh, its own. For some of you, this could be a moment of truth, a moment of realization. A lot of you will be rewarded in a very positive way from karma. And I also feel that for some of you, you could be... <coughs> Excuse me again. So a lot of you either will have like a big moment of realization a big moment of uh truth some of you may be trying to break the cord or that mental connection with uh maybe the values that you grew up with maybe break off whatever was installed in you by the family who raised you uh, by your previous relationships and I feel that for some reason mentally you are breaking free of that and you are trying to get to know better yourself and uh, who you are without these influences trying um, to develop farther, farther and mature as your own uh, person for some of you you could be feeling like a curse is broken something is changing something is moving for some of you you may feel like very slowly something is moving but I also feel like you're going to feel like you're on the verge of some sort of a big breakthrough or a change as I said mentally a lot of you will be ready to let go of a lot of issues from the past people energies negative energies anything that is not allowing you to be happy as a person to put yourself uh, first and I also keep getting that an advice I keep hearing that if you were to purchase something of importance you either have to have like a certification of authenticity like if you buy some expensive jewelry or a diamond again keep um, make sure that you get a, a certification of authenticity or some sort of a special warranty or extended warranty so make sure that you have all the paperwork especially if you're buying something uh, that costs a lot of uh, money I don't know why I keep getting this message but that seems to be important eventually for some of you you may not see the importance of it now but you may need this paperwork or the receipt or the certification of, of authenticity and all the warranties eventually maybe because mercury is going to be retrograde maybe from uh, December 20 I believe up to January 8 uh, next year and you're also going to have a new uh, full moon around December 13 and a new moon uh, by the end of the month around close to December 29 so changing your feelings changing your mind about uh, buying things or other changes or so maybe that this could be uh, some planetary movements that are influencing this the next card that you have is the hermit it does fall in the position of uh, the near past and to me the hermit represents one of your highest guides showing up in this reading leading the way for you giving you ideas that to you they feel like your own it also means sometimes you leading the way for other people uh, leading the way for other leading the family leading uh, a team of uh, people uh, so just uh, leading the way for other uh, people and it also means soul searching going within finding completing um, perfecting problem solving it feels to me like maybe two or three months ago you had to deal with some uh, delays minor or major delays you maybe had to deal with some sort of a drama maybe other people around you they uh, were very dramatic whatever this is I do feel that now you're going to get a better perspective now uh, whatever went through I feel like people are just explaining to you why they did what they did what was going on 
uh, and I feel that you may be realizing within yourself how you feel about the future, how you feel toward a person, how you feel about your job. For many of you, you could start a spiritual journey. You may be attending um, a spiritual retreat. You may be attending other spiritual uh, ceremonies. And by spiritual or religious, th that could mean different things to different uh, people. But I keep getting a great need for many cancerians to feel connected with the greater forces with the universe with god with the source call it whatever you like there's going to be a need here to find a deeper fulfillment through connecting uh with the higher uh power spirituality and i also feel that for some of you a, for a couple of days i feel like you're going to take it slow and you me you could be feeling like maybe lethargic or craving to sleep uh, to sleep and you could just be taking like an afternoon an early afternoon just to get that much needed sleep because I keep getting a lot of events and many of you Cancerians keep going and going and going and doing um, a lot of things accomplished in this uh, month of uh, December for some of you I feel that you could be now having a breakthrough maybe in relation to a health condition you could be hearing from a doctor, maybe with the right diagnosis or the right uh, course of treatment. This health condition could be in relation to you or it could be in relation to a loved uh, one. And if this doesn't make sense for you, I'm simply going to say that uh, you're going to feel leaded somehow gravitating toward a certain direction uh, in life because your guides are working behind the scene to kind of guide you and push you toward a certain direction so if your gut feeling tells you to do or not to do something or if you feel like something is uh, uh, becoming very hard and you run you run into the uh, a certain resistance or difficulties I feel like the guys are telling you maybe it's time for you to take it slow or slower instead of um, uh, doing what you're doing so pay attention to that uh, feeling if something is becoming too hard to deal with in that particular day postpone for another uh, uh, day so respect your own intuition here respect your own intuition the next card that you have uh, in the position of the near future you have the ten of cups and to me it's uh, the happiness card it means stability of home life it means reunion celebration having good times with your loved ones so happiness and of course it is the holiday uh, season I feel that for some of you there's going to be a happy uh, reunion however I also keep getting that for some of you it could be someone moves out of the home moves out or the house and something shifts here for the better I feel like whoever is it that you live with that could be uh, changing because I keep getting for some people for some families people move out for other people uh, for other uh, families I keep getting like a new person uh, lives in the family or maybe they're returning to live uh, home to live with you at home it could be some issues around neighbors or roommates that could be changing here in a way that works for you and I feel like some sort of a changes here even with roommates for those of you who have roommates or neighbors something here is shifting into a way that's going to be very significant and meaningful uh, to uh, you I feel that for some of you you could be hearing news or talk there's going to be a talk or a conversation around an inheritance a settlement of an estate or a possible uh, inheritance i don't know what this is some of you could be having an important conversation or even having nostalgia of some items that belongs in the family that has a great deal of emotional value you could be talking about an important necklace being passed on in the family 
uh, again, I keep hearing about, talking about family karma. Um, you could be talking about old pictures, old photographs. Some of you could be selling some uh, items. And for some of you, you may just try to find these family heirlooms because they mean so much uh, to you. Allow me to figure out if there is anything else of importance. For some of you, you could be having some sort of a new deal or a new business deal or even a new partnership. But whoever this partnership uh, or whoever this person is could be uh, a friend that uh, now you deepen and you strengthen your friendship. Maybe you met them a couple of months ago, but you never had that deep conversation. And now you're going to connect better at a deeper level with this person. Some of you, for some of you, I feel like you're going to ha create a family sense with a new business partner. So a deeper connection. For others, it could be new friendship. Uh, here developing and for some of you I feel like you either recently moved into a new era into a new community and now you feel like bonding and you feel like more settled or you could be here preparing for some sort of a big shift and big move uh, like moving eventually maybe not necessarily in October uh, I'm sorry in December because I keep hearing that a lot of you eventually in the next couple of months, so by next year, a lot of you Cancerians either have moved, sold a property, or bought a property. So uh, that's what I keep uh, getting through the Ten of Cups. So generally, if this doesn't make sense to you, it, it generally it means uh, happiness. Allow me now to pass on to you your Akashic Records messages for this month of December. I open them with a special prayer, close them with a special uh, prayer. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. It is very important that you subscribe because if you don't, maybe some of these messages, maybe they don't make sense to you. And also I am working on the new videos for uh, the new year, 2017, and I will be posting them as soon as I can, preferably within the first days of December. Things may be feeling a little blurry. Some of you may attend services in various places of worship and prayer, like in a temple, a church, etc., etc. Some of you may be saying goodbye to some familiar places, move to different places. Some of you may have some feelings or resentment that may be surfacing again. For some of you, not for all of you. Emotionally, many of you will feel as things, some things are slowing down a little bit. And you will have a little bit more time to relax and to think. I get that a lot of you will be thinking a lot about the past, about the present and the future. You may be having some nostalgia over a childhood place over a different place where maybe you spend some quality time, nostalgia for uh, your place of origin, your family of origin. Some of you may continue to deal with matters of grief, matters of legal cases, different kinds of settlements, insurance pay payouts, <coughs> excuse me, you may continue dealing with uh, issues and the proper uh, and a process here too that involves life insurance or or dealing with a, um, a life insurance company about the money or you may be trying to sign up for life uh, insurance get life insurance. Some of you will meet someone of, of higher power, higher authority, someone of great influence. It could be a judge, it could be a cardinal, it could be a well-known artist or a journalist or even a TV media or internet personality. It could be the principal of some sort of an important institution. It could be the city mayor, etc. Some of you will be asked to swear to tell the truth or to swear to be 
faithful, to swear your loyalty to a person, to a cause, to your country. Some of you could be uh, be sworn in to be a citizen. So in some countries you have to take a test and either um, uh, go through a ceremony when you pledge uh, loyalty to your new country. So some of you may be dealing with matters of immigration and uh, citizenship. So for some of you, uh, you could be um, you could swear your loyalty to a spouse. You could be attending or uh, a wedding ceremony. This may be your own uh, wedding uh, ceremony. You may be asked to swear the truth and only the truth in front of a court, a judge, for others or other uh, law enforcement uh, agencies. So thank you so much. Remember to click in the link down here below if you are interested to hear a continuation of this video. And please stay tuned because I will also be posting the predictions for the new year 2017. Like, share and subscribe. Contact me for a private reading. I'm a light worker at gmail.com and also my website amalightworker.com. Happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye.